I'm out in the forest, looking at all the junk that people throwing away. I noticed this little box, probably just like a tray or a cap or something, but get all the bugs out of it. You know what? I bet I could actually use that, or at the very least, I want to try to use that because this is the sort of thing that I would very easily just throw away thinking that no one's ever going to want it. But I can use it to hold parts unless it's too rusted through. Now that kind of stuff actually is pretty useful because we're restoring that house and we could use that. You know, surprisingly enough, I've actually started using some of these bottles that I found in the, in the forest. Mostly the odd shaped ones, like these ones. Good for putting paint in and, or uh, acetone and cleaning stuff up. I have an old new jaw bottle that I finally used by putting acetone in it. So I think I'm gonna take a lot of these like, more like flask looking bottles, the oval shaped ones, and those will be like for acetone and solvents. Then the round ones that can be for something else. No reason to let these just sit out here getting busted up. And I kind of have to get them now before poison ivy starts growing up because it gets bad. What's that? Oh, that was like a mouthwash or something. Oh. Adorable. That's a good one. I'm tempted to get that for my mother. She loves skeletons and bones and stuff. Most moms wouldn't like that, but yeah, I'll get that for her. Maybe I should start calling my mother the bone collector. <laughs> but she has some really beautiful stuff that she's found. Like she's taken animals that were roadkill and she found a roadkill fox one time and had its, uh, um, oh. Had his tail taxidermied. It's really lovely. I mean, no, no sense in letting that go to waste. It's already dead. Wouldn't like to kill the animals though. That'd be a bit, a bit bad. That might be a bit older. Esquire Lanol White. Look at that. That's cool. Some of these areas. Start getting to the kind of the older stuff. I find a bunch of these ones. Sometimes they like yellow. Oh yeah, they always have stuff in them. I don't, I don't know what they are. But I've had to throw a few away because... Yeah, they're just like, ugh. Do you spy that? Something white. Like perfume thing or... Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Another nice little one. I know they're not very old, but they're still useful. Okay. Newer, but it has a cap, so that's useful. Like, um... A sauce of some sort, salad dressing maybe. Oh, I can use those containers to carry stuff home. can't walk two feet without finding all this neat stuff. And that one's different. How peculiar. And cast iron. Huh. Now what might that be? Really hot out here.
part of a furnace, mayhap? That is odd. And the other question is, what can we use it for? Because that is interesting. Sprayer. Window white. Part of a gutter. This might be like a fireplace type thing. Yeah, maybe. That is odd. Is this something? Hmm. I'm cast iron. Pretty good. I'll take that. And put a new handle on it. Although I found that things like this can actually sell in the antique shop for like ten bucks. One time I put like six shovels in there for five bucks a pop, and they were only the heads. And for some reason, like we were just looking around at the other stalls and we saw someone walking away with all of them so they're in high demand for some reason superior paper bricks those are from the roads the old roads that used to be here although many of them still are here Hillsborough is known for having the brick roads still but the, the name superior is worn off of the faces of them I was just sitting on that log in the creek you know because like having rubber boot boots in the water really helps cool you down because it cools down your feet through your rubber boots but I've noticed all this neat stuff here. Let's see, there was... It's an old, old doorknob, I bet. That's kind of cool. Oh, now I'm noticing even more stuff. That might be like a battery plate. Weird. Found a few bottles earlier. And this handle comes with the little loops it's kind of neat but what I'm looking at is over here I have to get across this slope not too much here until you see this looks like a thing that my great grandma gave me a little a yellow yellow one I use it for parts of my workshop so it's the other color. It's kind of cool. Whew. It's just like humid today or something. But, that's Illinois for you. I do not believe I've been over this way yet. But it starts to get really, really unfriendly. Oil filter. Seems like most of the industrial stuff is off in that direction. And then this is less interesting stuff. This gets really steep. I hate to fall off there. You could really hit your head on that log pretty bad. Now look at that. This glass is pinkish. It originally was not pinkish. What that means is it was made around 1890 to 1915. And I believe they used manganese to uh, clear up the glass. But that eventually, in the sunlight, turns it pinkish purple, violet. Eighteen ninety-seven. Okay. Patented design, November thirtieth, uh, eighteen ninety-seven. 
Well, I gotta keep that because there's a neat date on it. Hardly ever see bottles with patented dates on them. It might be a rare one too. It might be worth for the cap. The cap seems like it might be okay. I'll just break the glass off underneath it. Oh, there's a little dump here. I date this around 1970s, 1980s. Seventy-five, fifty-three on that bottle. So it might be one of those years. Oh, that is older, but it's broken. Is that another part to it? Yeah, that was part of the same bottle. Yeah, it just keeps going, so this must have been a big burn pile. You know, I'm just going to take a, take pictures of this and then toss it back because it's a bit too far gone to really be of much use. It'd be interesting if that was radioactive glass, though. No, I don't think it is. See, I believe that's what they were using the manganese for, is to get rid of the blue color, because some of the Older glass had a lot of the blue color, and I believe having pure white was a, a step up in quality for them. This keeps going and going. Sugaring. Huh. That's neat. It's like a Where's Waldo of bottles. That's busted. That one's an older one, but busted too. And that one's complete, so that's good. I'll take that one too. And maybe, oh, I'll hold it with my knees. Exhaust thing? Well, that might be part of an exhaust. It's the front to a Westinghouse refrigerator, I believe. I might come back someday and get that. Be a funny use for it. More just for the sheet metal though. Found this. Another violet bottle cap or top. Neck, I mean. One seam, another seam. Some people can tell how old they are just by that, but at least from the pinkness, we can tell that it was from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. So I will keep that because it's kind of neat, but I, I I just walk around and I keep finding more bottles and I realize this is the first time I've ever been to a bottle dump where there's so many bottles. I keep tripping on bottles as I'm looking at bottles. At a certain point, I feel more like a janitor than anything, but I'm still happy with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya. I'm trying to take the thumbnail picture, and there's just more bottles. That's one. Weird. I just want to share this before I finish the video. I am insane. I need to get out of here before I find too much stuff. Well, before I find 
too much stuff again. <laughs> I made it back without breaking anything or losing anything. We're great, but this thing was a backbreaker. I will not be doing such a heavy load anymore.